Welcome back, dreamers. Welcome back, dreamers, shifters, light guardians, fellow fellow co-creators of this holographic matrix of this dream as we continue to awaken together. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Brendan, aka Skull Babylon, aka Mystic Spider-Man, aka Wolf Shield, welcoming you to another very exciting live broadcast through paradigmshiftcentral.com, a real world interactive game to be able to help assist with the shift in consciousness. And of course, tonight is another exciting episode of Dream Class, and so we'll tell you a little bit more about what to be able to expect from tonight's broadcast. Of course, the topic of Dream Class is all about dreaming, lucid dreaming, astral projection, dimensions, consciousness, all the things that you would expect to be able to get from a broadcast called Dream Class. And we've actually been doing, we've done multiple Dream Class over the past several years. There's actually 25-ish Dream Class broadcasts online. So if dreams are really, really something you're into, into and you enjoy just hearing this discussion and hearing people in the community talk about their own stories, their own theories, their own tips, their own concepts, be sure to check out some of the past broadcasts. And the link for that is in the YouTube video of this version version of the video. And uh, for those of you who are on Facebook, please feel free to jump over to YouTube as soon as you get a chance. And for those of you on YouTube, please feel free to drop those 1111s. Let us know that you guys are here. I know the audio is already coming through perfect. So again, thank you guys so much. We'll uh, pass the talking stick around in a second. And as we do that, we'll just invite people to be able to share a little bit about what brings them to Dream Class. And so for those of you who may be a little bit new, the Dream Class broadcast is just one of the many broadcasts that we do within the Paradigm Shift Central project. We do dream class once a month and between that we also do regular round tables as well as destiny school which focuses on a particular topic and of course we have our meditations on sundays at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time and all the other broadcasts i just mentioned are part of our thursday routine always at live at thursday at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time and again it's all all easy all easy for you guys to access right here through youtube.com forward slash skull babylon or live.paradigmshiftcentral.com so again the project as itself the context as we create the container here creating the context is very important we're not just showing up here to talk about dreams we're showing up here to talk about dreams within a particular context and so the context again the project itself the community it's about building a team it's about supporting each other it's about building a team of shifters people who are intentionally here to help assist with the shift in consciousness and we do this by creating conscious media by planting seeds in our local community by creating physical paradigm shift community meetups which are basically focused on regular open-minded discussion and meditation circles so in the same way we're kind of talking about things live on on air we encourage people to create their physical paradigm shift communities where they are, where they can have these similar conversations with people face to face, which is a super powerful thing. And so beyond that, again, we're doing these regular broadcasts. We're encouraging people to create conscious media. And so within this, dreams are something very important because as we explore the topic of dreams, evidently it leads us back to our potential. It leads us down this very rich rabbit hole full of some very inspiring ideas. Again, often ideas that we were never taught in school, that we were never really taught through mainstream culture. And through this, we begin to see further beyond the veil. We begin to see, the, the like, as I said, the potential that we have as co-creators essentially getting right to the the thick of it and this is like the big kicker that you know a lot of people coming into this broadcast have already begun to realize and now we're going to go even deeper is understanding that this reality too is a version of the dream and basically what i mean by that is understanding that the the way how this reality is created is through the power of our thoughts and so in the same way if you're in a lucid dream and you think of something it, it will manifest in front of you if you want to fly you can fly if you want to teleport you can teleport if you want to manifest like an object or even superpowers you can do that and so so we learn about the dreams, we learn about how to master our, ourselves within this reality, how to become better students showing up. So within this, again, we're going to be having people on the broadcast talking about their stories of what dreams have happened to them. We're going to be reading some of the stories that people shared on the Instagram posts about some meaningful dreams that they had. And of course, we're going to be providing you guys with practical tips. So again, what we're doing is the intention behind these broadcasts are to inspire each of us to continue to practice our own dream practices. This is something really, really important because again, as we do this, we're gonna be able to see more of ourselves. This is about essentially bridging our, our three-dimensional consciousness with our 50 consciousness, if you kind of want to think of it, with our higher self. So within the dream space, we are as soul, we are experiencing these rich, vibrant moments, these moments that are equally as presently real 
realize is this one right now, where we are seeing parts of ourselves, where we are meeting with powerful teachers, where we are accessing very, very important information. And essentially, as you know, as ambassadors of that space, we are here to be able to help integrate it back into this third dimension and be able to help weave it into our everyday lives to be the bridge with mainstream culture between mainstream culture and higher conscious ideas, again, to inspire people, to help them realize that there's a bigger picture out there, to be able to invite them to be a part of this ongoing story of the resurgence of shifters and light guardians. So again, thank you everyone so much for being a part of this. Uh, one other thing I'll just say, and again, this is just within the context, for me, the big thing with dreams, if you know people are starting to get into dreams, the big things that dreams open up the pathway for, they open up the door to, are understanding what it means to be a multidimensional being. And so that's a big part of the discussion here. It's part of the discussion throughout this entire paradigm shift community. You know, that's essentially it, is that we're we're awakening to this idea that we are multidimensional beings by nature. What does that mean? When we study dreams, that really gives us something to focus on because it's something that, it's not just theory, but it's something that can be applied. It's something that can be experienced. It's something that we can understand through the process of gnosis, knowledge through experience. And so some key things I'll just mention real quick with dreams and then we'll we'll get everyone in the broadcast right now and just make some noise and then we'll pass the talk and stick around and get some introductions going is that the thing that I always say is that, you know, dreams are, are kind of like closer to the place where we're actually from. And once you kind of really understand that, that's a big kicker, because instead of looking at dreams as being a side effect of 3D 3D dimension, 3D reality, you realize that, you know, dreams are actually kind of like this higher astral state, which is actually kind of where we originate from as soul. And the three, 3D dimension, the third dimension, the physical dimension, as we recognize it, is kind of what evidently came quote unquote afterwards if we're kind of thinking about it from a linear perspective just for the sake of context and then every night when we dream we are returning to this space and every every time when we are when we are between lives we are in this similar space and so this is why in dreams you can communicate with loved ones you have passed on you can communicate with other teachers you can receive premonition about the future within the dreams it's a space where again time is accessible information is accessible a little bit different from where it is here but maybe not entirely as different as we may think we realize that a lot of aspects of the abilities that we have within dreams can actually be brought into this 3d dimension and that's something that we'll be able to talk about tonight as well so again this is about really asking the big questions of you know like what are dreams that's, that's a very beautiful question what are dreams you know why do we have them what purpose do they serve and so we've talked a lot about this in past broadcasts but it's always exciting to be able to go back to and go a little bit deeper and be able to invite other people to essentially practice having these discussions and that's a really big part of what we do here through paradigm shift so if you guys are in the broadcast and if you guys are looking to be able to join the hangout uh please feel free to follow the link we'll post the link into the to join the google hangout on air into the youtube chat uh right now if you if if and this is just a quick tech note if you guys are having issues with joining the hangout just uh post your email address or send me a dm through the discord and i'll send you an individual an individual invite to the Google Hangout. Some people have been having tech issues with that. Uh, other than that, I just want to say a huge thank you again to everyone who's being involved with these projects, who's sharing these broadcasts with your friends, who's continuing to ripple these inspirations further out into culture. That's a huge part of why we do this, to be able to help think of these broadcasts as like spiritual boost, as spiritual medicine to continue to inspire us. And of course, huge thank you to our team Patreon supporters. You guys are a big reason as to why these broadcasts are continuously able to keep growing and keep expanding in the project, keeps reaching more and more people and, and allows us to provide this amazing value for the community. And again, the team Patreon, I'll just mention real quick, we'll check in a little bit later, uh, but I, I want to be able to invite people to be able to sign up during this broadcast. But right now, the team Patreon is 155 active donors donators 886 per monthly earning again that number is going to continue to go up throughout the week and throughout the month as we continue to be able to invite the uh, intention of over 40 new people signing up each month so if you're on the youtube i've made it really easy for you guys and you can click in the top your top right hand corner you'll see a little circle there click that circle that's going to link you right to the team patreon you, it takes about five minutes to be able to sign up and again uh, just as quick 
uh, be able to explain that the team patreon is monthly micro donations to be able to help support the project it's a pledge if you need to put your donations on hold on the future that's totally cool it's pretty it's very very flexible and of course when you do sign up you also get your shifter booster kit which comes with your light guardian crystals which in the context of dream class the light guardian crystals are actually created to be used as items uh for dream practice for for myself what i'll do is i'll take the dream the light guardian crystals i'll hold them up in my hand like this put them on the uh, key latch with my finger and then i'll be able to like hold these while dreaming and then you can actually use these as like a way to be able to help activate your own awareness within dreams you can actually like bring these into the dream space with you is one theoretical idea and something that i've been working with as well and of course when you sign up for the team patreon all the awesome stuff as well is included in your shifter booster kit such as the uh, shift buttons with the paradigm shift central website on the rim again these aren't just conscious swag they're tools to be able to help you guys spark conversation build conscious community and have the matrix with love where you are just think about the idea that if you have a shift button on you you can literally go up to someone on a street corner on a bus or a friend and you can be like here's a gift for you and then you spark a conversation it invites them back to the paradigm shift central project and you can end up talking with a stranger about dreams right then and there just imagine how exciting and easy that is so again thank you to the team patreon supporters uh, you guys are awesome and thank you again just to everyone for being able to support this project in all the different ways uh that you do and of course if you're looking to order the the light guardian crystals normally uh or individually rather you can also check out the questitemshop.com so awesome stuff and uh yeah we're almost at 10k subs on youtube so that's another thing to uh, take note of so thumbs up to everyone you know this concept of this community it, it's a it's a nice it's a nice tight knit niche of people who are really kicking butt and it's exciting to be able to create this foundation with you with you who is listening right now because you are the vanguard and this project is only going to continue to grow eventually there's going to be like way more people tuning in and you're going to be one of the people who are going to be like yeah i was listening to this back in the day man so awesome stuff and we've been doing this since back in the day too so with that said, again, huge shout out, much love and victory is a shared success. Let's get right into this discussion. We've got quite a few people ready to be able to join on air as well. So a uh, huge shout out to those of you uh, in the hangout. I'm uh, just adjusting the microphone levels. If you ever see my like video get really glitchy, it's because I'm doing things in the Google Hangout and stuff. And side note, the video on Google Hangout on the YouTube, I know the frame rates kind of messed up and stuff like that. That will be upgraded once we get a better computer, which will happen once the team page continues to go up so unless someone wants to donate like three thousand dollars and i'll get it for next broadcast please please feel free to do that quantum seed is planted so uh again huge shout out to everyone being here we got in the live chat right now i'm just gonna get everyone to make some noise in a second then we're gonna pass the talking stick around we got justin love we got jacob we got amanda we got arita we got aj and we have shine bright as well and jocelyn as well awesome so thank you guys so much uh let's get let's get right into this just after a second because i'm gonna unmute your guys i'm gonna bring your guys microphones up and as i do this i'm just gonna invite you guys to send some good vibes to the people tuned into this by making some noise being all like whoop, whoop, we love you guys and all that good stuff and uh yeah please feel free to join me in doing that and celebrating this moment as we begin to initiate the discussion together so pulling up your guys microphones real quick be nice and civil about it nothing too crazy or loud or anything like that but please feel free to make some noise and send some love out there to all the other shifters so join me in making some noise guys we love you guys ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Let him hear your howls. Yes. Wake him up. Awesome. What up? Awesome. Sweet. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. So again, within the context of dream class, uh, every time that we do this, it's nice to just be able to go around with very quick introductions and we'll just tell, we'll just invite people to share a little bit to, for them to tell a little bit about what brings them to dream class. So uh, with that said, uh, essentially, you know, I'm what brings me to dream class real quick answer, because I love being able to facilitate these discussions. I love learning from you guys and I love being able to use this as, as a way for me to develop my own accountability within my own dreams. Dreams are something super important for me. Uh, I love being able to, to be able to see, you know, more parts of myself through this multidimensional experience that we get to have every single night, this very sacred psychedelic experience that we get to have every night. So that's a bit about why I'm here. Let's pass the talking stick around. Give me a, if, if someone wants to volunteer to go first, just put your hand up, give me some like spirit fingers or something like that 
And, uh, okay, we, we got someone already. Yeah, it's like first come, first serve. So, Jocelyn, uh, we'll pass the talking stick over to you. Let me just get the microphone queued up here, and we will do that. And, Jocelyn, one of our recent Team Patreon supporters as well. So, thank you, Jocelyn. So, Jocelyn, passing the talking stick over to you. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, please feel free to just kind of say a little bit of, you know, just who you are, where you're from, if you would like to share, and what brings you to Dream Class. So, Jocelyn, passing the talking stick over to you. Go right ahead when you're ready, and thank you again. Oh my gosh, so much to say. Well, thank you so much. I, this is so weird. I'm like, what? So, yeah, my name is Jocelyn. Um, you know, I'm kind of on this whatever evolutionary path, and I've been kind of using especially dreams to interpret what's going on within my own vibrational body. So that's the one thing I discovered. So a couple of years ago, I started my whole dark night of the soul, you know, it was like super, super intense, of course. And the fascinating thing that I found, you know, I really started writing down my dreams a lot because I was starting to find that they were completely replicating emotions and my vibrational state. So that you know they completely reflected everything that was going on with my emotions and how much shame guilt and fear i was experiencing through the dark night of the soul and i was so afraid of people around me that you know like i was really leaving a lot of relationships based off of fear i was completely terrified of people and so that's the fascinating thing that I've found with dreams, especially lately, is I was kind of sharing this in the group chat earlier today, is how, you know, one of the relationships that I had left, I had a dream of this person at the beginning of Venus. And Venus was all about, like, relationships coming back from the past. And I was having literal nightmares about this person. And that was kind of my, my first little inclination to understand that there were some unhealed aspects of myself. And that's the way I, I view dreams is your, your brain, your neural net is literally putting together images and, and memories and even things I feel like from the future, that it's just putting together this collectiveness and combining it with whatever is going on within the vibrations of your body and then interpreting it to you while you sleep. So if you wake up in the morning, like that's your body talking to you. So indication when I woke up the next day to really reach out to this person and see if there was something I could do to heal that relationship and it was amazing for me because I felt like we did we, we healed and we both said I'm sorry you know made amends and now I feel completely at peace with that relationship so that's been awesome Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jocelyn, for sharing. That's really beautiful to yeah. hear. And yeah, that's like something that I think um, a lot of us could have probably had some degree of experience with where you kind of have one of those dreams where it's about a friend and it's just like, I should reach out, like I should send them a message. And then it turns out where they're just like, oh my God, like I, I needed to hear that. Or, or maybe like I was thinking about you too. And then it kind of sets off like a chain of synchronicities. So it really kind of opens up this idea of how our dreams affect our physical life and our physical life affect our dreams. You know, that's the, the stories are intertwined. So that's really beautiful to hear. And that, and that again, you, you were able to recognize that and be able to use it to be able to take action to create that healing process. That's really cool. So, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I think it's a combination. Your body is talking to you plus your soul, because I feel like dreams can also be a way that your soul is telling you like, maybe little synchronistic signs and telling you like where you need to go next and things like that. So there's a combination, I think of dreams, like what they could mean and what they interpret as. Totally, totally for sure. Yeah. And, and again, like once you, 
begin to understand a little bit more about your dreams, you can begin to kind of get the messages with more clarity and again, use those to kind of spark some either like to give you like foresight on what may be coming or to like give you a little bit of that premonition on, on just kind of like how to navigate things. So, but yeah, that's awesome. So Jocelyn, that's a wonderful introduction. Is there anything else you'd like to share in this moment? No, no, that's pretty good for now. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be a part of this. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you as well. Sweet. All right. So we'll uh, move. We'll we'll keep going through here. Obviously, we got a we got a full class tonight. Full class of shifters. So good job, everyone. Thank you for showing up in this uh, fourth dimension we call time. And uh, again, you know, just reminding everyone, even for those of you who may be thinking about joining, when we do these broadcasts. This is really just practice. So we're here to have fun. We're here to support. We're here to, in a sense, relax and just be able to practice having these discussions, knowing that for a lot of us, it isn't really something that we get a chance to be able to talk to people about in person. So it's really it's really exciting to be able to practice having these discussions to see what comes forth. Because again, you know, through each of us, we are literally the universe doing what it can to help wake itself up. That's essentially what we're doing right now. We've created this circle, this round table to come together and be like, oh, you're waking up. You're waking up too. I'm waking up. I'm waking up. Let's wake up together. So it's a, it's a celebration. So awesome. All right. Let's, uh, again, um, I wanted to be able to uh, pass it to Jacob next. Actually, just uh, Jacob and I were talking beforehand. And um, yeah, I'd love to be able to do that. And Jacob was in uh, the recent, not uh, one of the past broadcasts that we did not too long ago. And um, yeah, Jacob, thank you for being here once again, man. I'm passing this talking stick over to you again just a brief introduction who you are where you're from if you want to share that and what brings you to dream class slash why are dreams interesting to you so jacob passing talking stick right over to you go ahead dude hey i'm jacob i'm from arizona um dreams dreams are interesting to me because i believe it's connected to like a living inspiration and imagination force which corresponds between reality itself and fantasy there's a correspondence between our dreams and our imagination and how the two connects and i believe that our dreams like she, like she, um jocelyn was saying is a way for it's like it's very connected with psychology and i'm very interested in like psychology and mystical psychology known as the Kabbalah. And that's very much interconnected with uh, um, dreams and the, the astral realms and the multidimensional layers of reality. Cool. But yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> cool man all right that's that's perfect that's perfect man i know there's a lot more to talk about so we'll, we'll get to that as we uh, go around the circle once so cool jacob thank you for being here man and thank you for being active in the team discord chat as well cool awesome and uh, yeah, again, just a quick, quick reminder, because just I didn't mention this at the beginning. For those of you looking to get involved with the community, check the info on the YouTube to see the link to our team Discord chat. That's where we hang out and chat during the week. Uh, that's like a huge place where we're doing a lot of the uh, connecting and growing as a community. And uh, yeah, be sure to sync up with that. You know, like we're off. We barely use Facebook anymore. It's really more just like Discord and YouTube. So getting into some new realms and making it pretty exciting for everyone. So be sure to connect there during the week. And it's text chat and voice chat as well. So let's keep passing talking stick around. And uh, again, give me a wave if you want to go next. Show me them spirit fingers. Amanda on the fly. Sweet. All right. So Amanda, passing the talking stick over to you. And again, introduction, where you're, who you are, where you're from, and what brings you to dream class. Amanda, when you're ready, go ahead and thank you for being here. All right. Thanks. Um, my name's Amanda. I'm from Charleston, West Virginia, and um, I've been really interested in dreams. My Well, most of my life, I started lucid dreaming before I knew what that meant. And then later on, when I heard it described, I was like, oh, I've had those since I was like three years old so um, I'm just and I, I've been going through this whole you know consciousness shifting myself since about 2011 something like that so I'm just glad to be a part of this and that's about all <laughs> Awesome. Wonderful. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here, obviously. And just like a quick comment, it's always really exciting um, when people such as uh, it, similar to your situation who are just like, oh, I've been lucid dreaming my, my entire life and didn't even know what it was like that. It's it, that's super fascinating to me. Um, just the fact that, again, you know, we kind of talked about this last broadcast, but 
you can almost think of the human consciousness that it has different operating systems. So physiologically, we're very similar between all of us here, yet each of us is kind of running a slightly different operating system. And then for some of us, that operating system is just like default lucid dreaming mode. And it just kind of like maintains that. And then other people are just like, our relationships with dreams can be different. So uh, for someone who doesn't lucid dream by default, you know, having grown up, it's always fascinating for me to be able to hear from someone who does so amanda thank you so much and look forward to hearing more so awesome okay let's keep uh moving along here we're keeping good momentum keeping the talking stick passed around uh give me some spirit fingers or a thumbs up who wants to go next i oh aj okay aj aj and then we'll, we'll go around to justin and then to uh shine and yeah i guess that's everyone at that point so aj sporting his free hug shirt like a champ thank you so much dude <laughs> bonus points there aj go ahead dude uh thank you again it's good to see you and welcome back oh it's good to see thank you and so you can share a little bit again just who you are, where you're from and what brings you to dream class go right yeah ahead. i'm uh i'm aj i reside in uh, new york city and uh what brings me to dream class much like amanda ever since three i was lucid dreaming and uh, i find it extremely interesting um, the reason what brings me here is that I always like to see what other people's interpretations are, what their experiences are. Um, I think we can learn and grow from there. I've always been, um, I stumbled upon astral projection from uh, lucid dreaming when I was about 10. Um, there's a lot of things that I've been able to do along with really taking uh, certain things that I dealt with in dream world and applying that into my waking life. Um, both of them, I think, are <clears throat> extremely relevant. My dream life and my waking life, uh, they both have a purpose. And uh, I definitely love dreaming. I, I've, I've had some crazy dreams. Even last night, I had an amazing dream. And um, so it's one of those things to where I, you know, I, I come here to listen, to learn, uh, and also give a little bit of uh, insight on my experiences as well, because I've had quite a lot so um it's great to be with you guys awesome sweet thank you thank you aj and again back to back two two avid default lucid dreamers in the house man you guys are like <laughs> you guys are like like shiny pokemon like like you know like you, you know those shiny pokemon cards like they're they're the same as all the other pokemon cards but they're shiny and and they're just like a little bit different and stuff like that don't worry i'm just joking guys we're all shiny sure. pokemon <laughs> that's that's the truth so but thank you guys so all right let's keep passing the talking stick around and uh we'll pass it over to justin next so justin welcome back justin love more and passing the talking stick over to you dude again just a little bit of who you are where you're from and what brings you to dream class go right ahead dude namaste and la catch my family this is uh justin love here i'm representing uh Harrisburg, Pennsylvania in the USA. And uh, I'm here because I've always been fascinated with dreams. I've had some, uh, a few lucid dreaming experiences and I'm fully convinced that, uh, that dreaming is, uh, is traveling. It, it's, it's the ability to time travel. I believe that, that when we go to sleep, that, uh, you know, we as spirit, we leave our, uh, our avatar bodies and, we travel into uh, other versions of ourselves that exist within the multiverse. And uh, we are awake, we awaken there and we have experiences. And uh, I know that um, we have the ability to control those things. Uh, I'm here because I wanna learn how to do that. Um, because I, I, I've, I've heard many things about like, uh, like schools that you can actually go to in in the dream world where you can learn things and bring that information back to uh this place here uh you know i'm also uh, really interested in learning the difference between a lucid dream versus astral projection you know versus uh you know waking visions and quantum jumping so uh that is why uh, i'm here today and uh that is it perfect awesome thank you justin 
And um, yeah, you know, one of the topics that we'll, we'll explore here is uh, just like really the general topic of what is possible within dreams. Because I mean, every time we're like, we're, we're hitting upon it, we're scratching upon it, but like, what is possible within dreams? Is it infinite? And, and if that's the case, like, you know, how deep does that go? What are we really talking about here? Are we really able to go to other planets and sit amongst a council of aliens? Like, are we literally able to talk to like archangels? Are we literally able to like travel through time and see the future? If you were just think about the idea, and this is almost just like a way for a brain exercise. If you were like, what does it mean to be like fully activated within a dream? What, what could that mean? And then as we kind of, you know, investigate that concept we can begin to kind of understand just on a general basis of what what is possible within dreams to begin with and you know what are some targets that that we can work towards and we use these ideas as 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 thought seeds to be able to inspire us so as we awaken within our dreams we'll have those ideas and be like oh yeah like I should totally try teleporting. Like I should totally do that. I should totally try, you know, like going to like one of the moons of Jupiter or something like that. Let's go see what's on there. So again, uh, as we get into this, inviting people to really be able to share their stories within this broadcast as in a sense evidence, you know, this is a documentation of what is possible as multidimensional beings. We're talking about documenting, yes, the three-dimensional here, but through this discussion as a team, we're literally, we're, we're bringing the documentation of the dreams into a format where we can be able to see it collectively. So we're, we're telling the stories through voice, but in our minds, we're like getting the pictures as well. So this is some ad advanced technology through the, through the magic of communication that we got going on here. So crazy, crazy stuff, man. All right, let's keep passing the talk and stick around. Uh, looks like we got uh, Shine Bright. Did you want to go next, Tam? Yeah? Okay, cool. And uh, let me just make sure audio is good. I just got to make sure people are getting their microphone muted as they come in. Okay, cool. All right, Tam, I'm going to pass it over to you. I'm glad that you made it in, and thank you for Yay! being here. And thank you for being a, a supporter, a Patreon supporter as well. Uh, again, we got, we got multiple Patreon supporters in here. So, Tam, thank you so much. I'm glad you made it. And, uh, again, passing the talking stick over to you. Please tell us a little bit just uh, who you are, where you're from, and what brings you to Dream Class. Hi, everybody. I'm Tamara, also known as Shine Bright. I'm so glad I was able to make it onto this one. Being a dreamwalker is something I was born with. It's something that runs in my family, and I find it so fascinating. And the reason why I'm here is because it's so subjective. It's so individual to everybody else's unique experience that you're always constantly learning something new. And I've, I have come to believe with my experiences and my work in the past 20 years that dreams are a multi-purpose construct program that we've been given to utilize access to spiritual downloads, guidance, messages like from the other side. But it's also somewhere where we can sharpen our skills, we can learn lessons, do healing, self-mastery work, explore fantasy. It's also a place where we can create new worlds and create new possibilities and new inventions and bring new innovative ideas. But it's also where we can experience things that we can't in this waking world, in a safe place where we can just be free to experience that with no inhibitions whatsoever. And it's also a place where we can contact our guides, spirits, beings, lost loved ones, like even extraterrestrials, I totally do think that that is a possibility. And I have come to understand through my experiences that that's the place where all parallel dimensions overlap. And it's a place where we can access them all. So there's so much that we can learn from it. So I'm excited to learn from all of you guys. Like everybody can dream just because you're not born with it doesn't mean you don't have that ability. It just has to be practiced and really strongly in the beginning. And then once you've got the flow of it, like you won't be able to keep a dream journal because it, your dreams will be too long. But I'm really happy to be here. Thank you guys for holding space for this. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you, Tamara, for being here as well. And uh, again, thank you for bringing your energy, bringing the vibes. I love uh, I love the term uh, dream walker. I think that's like a beautiful way of because uh, like when you say that, um, similar to how uh, Amanda and AJ were talking about lucid dreaming regularly growing up. Is that kind of, or is that what you were going through as well? Like lucid dreaming versus just vivid dreams, a lot of dream recall and everything. 
Um, dreams are something like I used to dream about things and it would freak out my family because I would know things before they happened or I'd be like, oh, grandma's going to call and the phone would ring because I had a dream about it. My mom used to bust me for doing bad things because she dreamt about it. Like this is something that's just been incorporated in our family, but from a very spiritual perspective. So I knew that I had prophetic dreams the first time when I was eight, when I correlated the same dream that I had every time somebody was going to tell me they were pregnant, like somebody was pregnant in the family. So it was something that was just a natural thing for me. But when I became more spiritually invested, I started to really explore it. And I had a dream group uh, when I was about 23 years old, which is a really, really long time ago. <laughs> but um, yeah, we used to actually do exercises where we would lucid dream to meet each other. And we actually had some success. And there's some people here that we're working with that we're hoping to get that going so we can share it with you guys. Awesome. That'd be great. Yeah. Like, are um, you talking about getting like a physical meetup group going? No, um, we like with Yuga and Turner and Mander. Okay. So within the project. And whoever else. Yeah. We've just been trying to do exercises, but it's been really scattered everybody's been doing a lot of healing and inner work there's a lot that's been brought to the surface with all the astrological energies going on so it's it's a work in progress totally totally but it's good to have those intentions so yeah that's really awesome um because again you know like even just uh just for the sake of discussion when you use the term dream walker you know if we're just trying to use that to be able to create context what would you feel would qualify because i mean i guess the idea is that like all of us can be dream walkers and uh, i'm just kind of curious in terms of how you would use that particular term how you would define the term dream no, walker for the sake of that's maybe a really good question using it within this discussion if that's a term we want to use because like dream i've because I've, so, I've heard that term before like even like dream walker right. like dream waker could be another one but yeah go ahead so dream walker is a term that i picked up from a dream book that helped me on my journey um called remembering and understanding your dreams by craig hamilton parker when i was 23 and it was an aboriginal australian tribe that um, subscribes to the belief that there is no difference between the waking world and the dream world. That's just where you walked in the dream world. So they call them dream walkers. But for them, everything that happened on that other side was just as real as this life. So if you even like cheated on your spouse, like you would be held to that consequence in your waking life because they just believed that life is a dream walker, but you walk in the dream realm. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah, that makes sense. And the, and the fact that like the origins of it is rooted in the Aboriginal perspective uh, definitely makes more sense because like I wasn't sure if it was just kind of like a colloquial term or what. But uh, absolutely, because like in that context, you know, we can actually see uh, at least one of the things that comes to mind for me immediately is the direct correlation between the concept of a dreamwalker and what we think of even in like the modern day context of Star Wars where we think of Luke Skywalker because that in itself was like very much you know like even relating to that you know it's 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 a world bridger it's kind of like another synonymous term for being able to think about it so yeah like a dreamwalker is someone who is just more actively present within their connection to the dream space so again within that context yes all of us have the potential to to choose to be dream walkers to be dream walkers some of us are kind of like coming into it with into this incarnation it seems to be a little bit more fully activated or just like fully incorporated into our default experience but again you know i think the purpose of why we even do these broadcasts is really to encourage all of us to be you know a version of a dream walker within within our own lives because like the benefits are huge and it, and it really is like what the world needs right now you know again it's and this is something that you know we'll talk about within this broadcast it's the idea of like waking up within the dreams as we can continue to awaken up within this reality as well so yeah it's 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 fascinating to know that this third 3d reality is not just the be all end all of our existence as soul we are literally living existing experiencing you know 24 7 and not even just 24 7 because when we're in the dreams obviously time is kind of uh different there so it could be like you know like 48 7 or something like that depending on how you look at it dream math you know man gotta, gotta work on that one 
So um, let's uh, let's just kind of uh, I want to be able to even just check in with people in the chat and to be able to just like give a shout out to you guys. And also, I want to be able to read some of the uh, comments that we have within the Instagram. And then from there, what I want to be able to do is go around the talking, pass the talking stick around and be able to invite you guys to share a meaningful dream that, that you have had, something that comes to mind. And so obviously the term meaningful, that can be many things to different people. People, a meaningful dream is going to be meaningful to you for its own specific reason. So if that's something that you want to practice doing, please feel free uh, to be able to do that. And I'm just going to read some of the ones that we have here on the Instagram, and then we'll read a few more later, because I think there's like over like 20 different uh, stories that people left. And so again, this is at my Instagram, at uh, Mystic Spider-Man. Be sure to follow me in there. There's a lot more stuff there. And we, and we put up these posts every now and then where we know that people aren't going to be able to tune in on air, but when we uh, invite them to be able to answer the questions, we're doing so with the purpose to be able to read uh, this on air. So the, the post that we put up was in four sentences or less, tell us, um, tell us a story of a meaningful dream you remember. So here's just a couple dreams and we'll read these. And then uh, if someone wants to let me know if you want to share next. And then after we've kind of gone around with some dream sharing, you know, we'll, we'll get more into the dream theory and then we'll just kind of see where the conversation goes. But again, always bringing it back to like the practical tips, practical tips that you guys want to be able to bring to the table. This is very free flow uh, in that sense. So let's just read a couple of these stories that we have here on the Instagram, uh, first of all, and then we'll go a little bit further into just some more free flow uh, discussion and storytelling. So here is one dream from Riley. I'm just reading these in order from Riley, Arizona. Thank you, Riley, for sharing. She said, I had a dream that my partner was in the hospital and I couldn't find his room. I searched for a long time and finally found him alive. And well, he choked on a piece of chicken. I woke up in a panic and I haven't eaten meat since. So, wow, that's an interesting dream. I mean, even just right there, like I'm not going to I'm not going to be interpreting these dreams right here like a just kind of I don't know. Some, some, I almost feel like, you know, it makes more sense of the person's here to reinterpret them with us. Um, but that's interesting. Just taking note of the idea that she had a dream. Her boyfriend was choking on chicken and then she hasn't eaten meat since that dream. So that was like an interesting way for the soul to be able to send a signal to the body that essentially she, you know, calibrated into a life choice. So that's very powerful. Wow. To really be able to think about, you know, the idea that from that perspective, it's like, you know, like eat meat and die, eat meat or, you know, one or the other. So very, uh, very powerful message to be able to receive from that as well as being able to incorporate it. So Kimmy Alexander shared and thank you, Kimmy, for sharing. I'm constantly dreaming that my twin flame is cheating. I haven't had a normal dream for as long as I remember. Our marriage has been great Pat, for the past six months. We had a really rough first two and a half years as most twin flame reunion experiences. So again, even there kind of hitting upon uh, what Tam was talking about, the idea of just like, you know, within the dream space, how the idea that even relationships are echoed into the dream space. And um, yeah, you know, again, I'm not interpreting that. That's a very personal dream. And thank you, Kimmy, for, for being able to share that. And I feel it's something that people can relate to. People can, uh, I, I feel when you have dreams of a spouse cheating on you, sometimes, and again, I'm not, I'm not labeling things as a complete absolute. Sometimes I can almost, it, it represents some kind of insecurity w would be something that, that one could point a finger at. And perhaps even that is kind of like the soul's way of perhaps nudging us towards a very important conversation that we want to have. So um, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I'm sure we've all had those experiences related to relationships. Okay, uh, this uh, Ayat Flashfish shared their dream. Thank you, Ayat. And this one's interesting. And some of these I haven't even read yet, to be honest. A spaceship was leaving Earth with water in an adjoining ship at sunset. And on the hill, there was a cave with humanoid AI eggs. And one of them came out slash was born and ran faster that then I have ever seen a human run towards me and his speed scared me, but I didn't run away or anything before I knew it. This human took him down and put him in service, both where he had and put him in a service booth in a service booth where he had to greet visitors. 
Okay, that's interesting there. So again, you know, like just getting into the general theme of, you know, dreams that involve spaceships, aliens, AI technology, futuristic events. Those dreams are always fascinating. And I'm sure some people here would have some interesting dreams to be able to share uh, in correlation with, uh, you know, in particular, just putting it out there. If anybody has any alien type dreams or UFO type dreams that they want to share during this broadcast, please feel free. Okay, I'm just going to read one more and then we're going to pass the talking stick around and then we'll read some more of these a little bit later in the show. And um, so, da, 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 da. and a reminder for anybody joining on air right now, uh, just make sure your, your microphone's muted if you guys can do that because I can't always manually mute it. Okay, next one from Nowaki Stanley. Thank you, Nowaki says, I was in a crowded place. Music was playing as I saw her across the room. Oh, this sounds cute. She was blind but could hear my whispers from across the room asking her to dance. Aw. She obliged and it was like I had been ta taking lessons for years. It's like we it was like we were take we had been taking lessons for years together. She couldn't see me physically but knew who I was by my spirit. We danced to shine on you crazy diamond and I fell in love. Wow, that's powerful. And uh, yeah, that's some like Pink Floyd right there too. Also Pink Floyd showing up in the dream. That's a beautiful, beautiful dream there. And and again, you know, those dreams are powerful and the, uh, dreams where we do experience such heartfelt emotions, such as falling in love. I'm sure, again, as humans, we kind of go through these experiences that are, are relatively archetypal. And that's kind of like how dreams work. And one of those would be the archetypal dream of meeting someone and falling in love within a dream. And I'm sure, you know, we've all kind of had those. And then you kind of like wake up and you and, you know, you might just be like, wow, OK, like that wasn't real. But at the same time, that felt really enriching for my heart or maybe there is a part of myself that I saw within the dream and, and maybe you know there's one dream I'll just share this kind of real quick just within the context here and this is just one of my memorable dreams it just kind of triggered as I was talking about it and then we'll pass the talking stick one dream I had where I, I to be honest I don't even off the top of my head I don't even fully remember the context but I remember the the basic idea because I made a post about it and it was a basic idea where uh, again like I was in a situation where there was another person and I was falling in love with them and I and I was doing that in the dream and I fell in love with them in the dream but then when I woke up I created this post where I was just kind of like, I had this dream where I fell in love with this person, da, 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 da. But the truth of the matter is I realized that that person was me. And so it was kind of like this very powerful message of realizing that like, you know, falling in love with ourself over and over again through other people is essentially like one of the ways that you can look at this, you know, infinite journey of romance and things like that. But again, it was really also about turning the power of, of, of self-love. And that was actually at a really powerful time where I had just come out of a breakup too. So it was kind of like, you know, my body was like, it was sending me this very powerful message that, you know, the most important relationship that you have is the relationship with yourself. And so you can kind of like go in the mirror and you can kind of, again, treat yourself as you are your own partner and you are your own beloved. And that's a very powerful idea. So again, you know, the dreams are a beautiful way for the universe to be able to give us important teachings, important messages, important stories that are going to spark parts of our souls that are going to open up more of our mind. And one of the things we were talking about last broadcast, and we'll get into this in this broadcast is, you know, like, where are these dreams coming from? Like, is there a higher conscious that's kind of programming them? That's kind of sending these messages into our dream in order for us to be able to receive them? And how can we be able to receive them better? How can we be able to receive them in a way where we're integrating them as best as possible? So let's uh, pass the talking stick around. So uh, just inviting you guys to be able to uh, give me a show of a hand if you have uh, what we're doing right now, we're passing talking stick for the purpose of sharing a dream story, sharing uh, a, a meaningful dream that you remember. So who would like to, if you guys want to put your hand up, Amanda and then AJ, perfect. Two of the uh, fellow more avid dreamers. Awesome. And again, you know, just within the context of dreams, just reminding everyone, for those of you who may be new, you know, it's a very simple idea. Uh, everyone dreams. It's just a matter of whether or not you remember it. So it's never, it's never this idea of like, you know, oh, I don't dream. That's not the case. It's just a practice. It's just a matter of being able to develop the practice to be able to remember your dreams. So there's, there's a science to being able to remember your dreams. And, uh, you know, from that context, all of us should be paying attention to our dreams, should be paying attention to the topic of dreams. Uh, because again, you know, as cosmic citizens, it's very, very important to be able to help us continue to step into our, you know, our potential uh, within this reality by understanding more of who we are and who we are here to become. 
So I'm going to pass it over to Amanda. And Amanda, please feel free to tell us a story of a meaningful dream that you have had. And we are listening. So Amanda, when you're ready, go right ahead. Okay. Um, I had this dream. It was probably about four years ago. And um, in the dream, I was I woke up and sat up in the bed. And I saw a person standing at the foot of the bed. But I wasn't frightened or anything like that. So I stepped out of bed and walk toward the person. And then I, I started to realize like, this person's the same height as me and everything. And as I got about six inches away, cause you know, the bedroom was dark and all, I realized it was me standing in front of me. And when I looked into the eyes of the person, the other person who was me, I could see my, my existence in all dimensions ever. It was like the ultimate mirror effect. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it was like, I was able to see ev every, facet of my existence ever so that that was very meaningful uh, it, it gave me it gave me a lot of hope in that i was going through some rough times at that time and it was like nope everything works out i know it like <laughs> so that that was that dream that's that's beautiful that's a really beautiful that's a very uh, again you know like I, I the term that comes to mind is psychedelic uh, within the context. And again, you know, I use the term psychedelic, not in just in entheogenic, entheogenic sense, but from the idea of, you know, being able to see the God self, being able to see the, the higher conscious self. So yeah, uh, just a, again, kind of, um, how did that, yeah, like, do you feel that dream kind of shifted your, your waking life following it? Oh yeah, de definitely. I can't remember a lot of specifics around that time, other than the dream sticks out more to me than the the waking life at that time, but it was, um, yeah, it, my whole journey kind of was, a, that was a catalyst for a lot of things. So. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thank you, Amanda. Is there anything else related to the dream at this point? Is that good? Um, that's good. That's good for now. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Sweet. Thanks. Okay. We'll pass the talking stick over to AJ next. AJ just pulling up your microphone and when you're ready, oh. dude, go, go ahead. Tell us a little story. Okay. Um, all right. This is about to get a little deep. So um, this dream happened when I was 12 years old and um, it was extreme. My, my dream cycle at this time was extremely, I was having a lot of lucid dreams. I was getting spiritually attacked in dreams, which I don't think a lot of people talk about. Um, but it was something that was a real sense for me uh for several years um i was waking up with scars it was I, I was under i guess i don't know if if i guess under attack for better meaning of the words but in this specific dream there was like this small demonic sort of looking creature that was laughing and pointing at me and i was in my parents house in a dream and uh i had never seen this entity before but i remember uh I remember that I was scared and then all of a sudden I realized that I was bigger than this, you know, small thing that was laughing and pointing at me In the dream. I had a spiritual experience. So uh, this was where I was completely aware with, of what was going on. And while I was, this little thing was laughing and pointing at me. I remember uh, in the dream saying, rebuke you. And uh, the little thing got hurt and he sort of like fell out of the, the sliding glass door and, I remember this sense of uh, this sense of empowerment that I had. There was this there was this other spirit that was with me with inside of the dream. Uh, I kept saying it over and over. I ended up waking up and I felt uh, like I had overcome something that I had been dealing with for a long time within the dream world. Fast forward to something that happened in real life, uh, not but two weeks later. Um, and at this time, I was, you know, I was young. I was in, uh, I think it was in sixth or seventh grade at this time. And I was a big, devout Christian and carrying my mom Bible. And I, there was this one kid that was laughing and he pushed me into the hallway. It had never been in a fight before. But as he pushed me, the same demon that I had seen with inside of the dream world was now within this person's stomach. And before I knew what I was going to do, the same words that I had said in the dream is immediately what came out of my mouth in a middle school in front of like 70 kids. 
I was not expecting that to happen, but it was almost like the dream had had preempted me to go ahead and say this. And I remember looking at him and I said, in Jesus name, I rebuke you and spoke directly to the spirit. And he immediately put down his hand and he walked away from the situation. Now, mind you, I'm in middle school. So everybody's like, what is going on right now? And I was, I was scared and I didn't realize what had just happened. I was crying. I was like, is this real life? So, but there was something that I realized in that moment. In that moment that I realized uh, that number one, whatever higher power I was calling out to, there was some sort, some sort of energy transfer from the dream world into the waking life. Whatever I was able to see within, I found it very interesting. Uh, uh, it's, I don't know if it's Tamara or whatever she was talking about, you know, the Aboriginal tribes that were, you know, doing that. Um, that was the first time that I started realizing that the dream world is almost like a practice area for, for life. It's where you don't get harmed necessarily. You might have certain experiences within that, but it is your decision on the choices that you make with inside of that. Sometimes you face fear, sometimes you face you know, uh, joy, sometimes you face pain. Um, but if you're, I feel like if you're able to overcome a lot of those things in the dream world, when it comes to the waking life, uh, it becomes much easier to deal with it. And um, I know it's a little crazy, but that was my, that's just one of the experiences that I think was extremely meaningful to me at the time. So I'll end with that. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for sharing, AJ. And um, yeah, just within the context of what you're talking about there, because, you know, there's going to be a lot of people out there who are going to have experiences within dreams that are going to seem like pretty scary and then you know you there's a whole conversation which we can we can look into of this idea of you know people talking about when you're in dreams you're in like this like vulnerable place to be engaging with like entities and some of them may be malevolent and and things like that and you know some people almost get into this idea of being scared to dream um, and, and that can be kind right. of like the, the relationship to it or they're scared to lucid dream. They're scared to actual right. project. Um, and I think there's validity to that uh, in, in terms of not necessarily like you should be scared, um, but you should just kind of be mindful that, you know, as an energetic being, you're kind of like opening yourself up to experiences with other types of non-physical entities that can provide a variety of experiences. Um, now, of mm -hmm. course, we will kind of say like on a blanket scale that any of these experiences are actually there as something to be able to like teach you to be able to help you grow and so from that perspective it's the idea of like you know like this isn't it may be uncomfortable but it's not necessarily something that is not still in your highest growth or at least that's one way of being able to look at it um, again people are going to have different 